Why I got, you know, yeah, lick, uh, lick, lick shot hard, you know, no, 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 And the little bean sprout, they will come up with them here, I'm going to take it out. The rasta come back, Mikey. But you know, but, but, you know what happened? Um, eh? Years from now, when, <sighs> when the history of the music is being written, will be written, we're going to have a thing. Then there was Vibes Cartel, and then there was Chronix. Chronix. That the same song, Start a Fire, was the song that introduced me personally to him. So, one of the, one of the beauties, one of the great things about my life is the front row seat I have to the young people. I just, I'm at the studio one day, and the studio was walking, and I said, Uncle, I want to give this, this, this CD. Please listen to it for me. And I was, you know, like, I get out of CD. So I was driving home, putting the CD, and reach up Mountain View and turn back and say, No, sir. I wonder if it's just in my car, you know, car is so nice. I went back to the studio and a couple of people were there and I stopped the session and I put in the thing and said, listen, this you here. It turned out I was the only one who didn't know who he was. <laughs> I was paying for a fight. And I'm saying, where, I never know say a youth like this in Jamaica. I mean, I'm going to say And it started a really, really cool relationship between me and him. Come check me and I introduce him to some other people and this and that. Okay. Then I started to rehearse at the studio and when I'm in the studio and I heard the rehearsal and I go in and I take, said to the youth, them, listen, I ask him, tell him, go sit down outside with him. And I go in and said to him, when I don't understand who I'm playing, I couldn't have not listen to these songs and playing them. But let me tell you something, this is, this, you know, I remember me for this moment here. When I need to go listen to the songs, I hear me near shouting. And you need to hear where how these voices are for the truth. They was a little upset because they made us walk in and stop the rehearsal. But a couple of days after that, they came back to me. Young man, I said, but uncle, I understand this and I appreciate it. All of us was playing and everybody wanted to shine. Tab, but we were not focusing on what he was saying and how he was saying it and how he, how he needed to be projected. I said, that is exactly what bands do. If you ever work with Dean Fraser band for one day, you don't want to no more. I mean, I'm just saying all of this. And him is just the, him was just the perfect person with the perfect message, the perfect attitude at the time when he came. And the, the success of the reggae revival was the majority to him. The fact that him came out and he was not just a youth that was being played uptown, he was being played in the dance. Everywhere. And, I mean, both him was that thing and holding him on and thing. And here was a youth that was just not saying the regular cliches, but you could hear research, you could hear a new a vocabulary, you can hear a youth that was searching for himself, searching how to express himself. Of course, like most youth, you make some blunders and you say some things that you probably wish you never said. But he was mature enough to come back and say, listen, Jamaica, I, I probably never get it right, but you know what I mean, X, Y, Z. And like I said, I don't like, I don't, I don't, one of the things that I do, I don't want to compare nobody to nobody, but Chronix is exactly what Jamaica needed at that point for reggae. Um, Vibes Cartel. Summertime. Yeah, Vibes Cartel is just this brilliant, this genius who saw a system in a Jamaica and chose to say, okay. And in turn, the whole me that back on itself, in other words, <laughs> things that me that used to ask people to do, he was asking me that to do the same thing. And he just had the place in control. Unfortunately, things got away. I mean, and he's been convicted of a crime. At, absolute power corrupts, to know, absolutely. At, but his genius can never be denied. I mean, would I hope, I would hope, still hope that one day his genius can be turned to something a little more positive, constructive, or educational. And I'm sure he'll yeah. tell me one day. <laughs> That you know, I mean, there was a time when he didn't have the punchline thing, and him had had this conversation for a long time. And at which point he hadn't started to do it, the gunman song in it, and he said, "Boy, them don't want me to start them gun song because them can't do it like me," which is true. <laughs> so unfortunately, life led him down that path, and for what it is worth, it, it, but when we, when when we write the history again, we have Vibes Cartel chapter. <laughs> It's been a long chapter, <laughs> and I think we have a serious extra long chapter, chapter. of Uncranix and the effects that he's going to have. In other words, it is it was still 
um, cool to the reg. It was still cool to the reggae. It was still potent. It was still, it was okay to sound intelligent. It was sound okay to sound like you had read some history book. It was okay to say that there's this philosophical Rastafarian that I've become a part of. But I've not settled for all of the old, you know, the jargon and the stuff. I've done my research and this is how I interpret Ayla Selassie and this is how I interpret Rasta. This is how I interpret the world. And I mean, like I said, all of us now are going to agree. I'm not going to agree with everything I'm saying. I'm saying. But I celebrate the fact that him have the, him have the talent to do it. And he found a little space in the whole, you know, the Jamaican and the diaspora situation and the world situation. And he's to give him genius a chance to, to shine. You, and, you, know, yeah, man. you know what I love about um, Chronix? His juxtaposition with Protégé and the fact that Chronix tour with with, 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 with coffee and Protege tour with Leela Ike. <laughs> you know, it's 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 amazing to see those what relationships. What are you saying? What are you what are you saying without saying it? Yeah? No, I, 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 if I may. If I may. <laughs> if I may. <laughs> I want to hear Mikey. The, the goat wants yeah. to talk. <laughs> if if I may. Yeah, the goat is right. Great is <laughs> Um I wanna go back to the point you make about the story. Um, Vibes Cartel Chronics because it's a seminal point, especially when we look at the history of the music. As and the history is being written now, we are part of you know, we are one of those scribes writing that history. Um, I know Vibes Cartel in the early days, like yourself, right? The music he was putting out then before he started to go down the gunman track and. And when he started to run the gunman music, that's when I kind of backed off listening to him. So a lot of what transpired after that, I kind of deliberately stepped up. But I have a very good friend who's a cardiologist, lives in Pennsylvania. And, you know, went to school together. And this guy, he is an avid cartel fan. He said, Richard, ease off your bias. He said, we, we share the same things about the violence and stuff. But just put it one side for a bit and just listen to how this guy put these lyrics together. So forget about everything else. And then you will be able to appreciate the greatness of Cartel. That kind of blew me away because here's a man. This is a, I'm a, it's my, it's my bona fide personal brethren, you know. And, but I never knew that side of him, that, you know, that he had this kind of appreciation for the music. And especially for something that I, you know, the gun thing, and, and I live and work in Jamaica, and uh, uh, carried a gun for most of the time as an adult. And, and, and then I realized how much I hated the damn thing. So the gun thing it was a negative for me. And, and the way how we took the gun lyrics, it was a massive turn off. Shine but up then, all of the gun then, if you stop for a moment and just listen to the placement of the lyrics, the applicability. It was him, is a story that we see every day within certain communities, and he was putting it out there. And, and it changed my mind. To your point. 2013, a little man named Jabooks came on the you know, scene and produced this song. Hi there. If you enjoyed that clip, go on over to our website at yardmedia.com where you can watch the entire broadcast at your leisure. And while you're there, why don't you check out our other reggae music features? And before you leave, pick up some of our Jamaican reggae merchandise and hey, don't forget to tell your friends. Garth, otherwise known as Big G. My name is Richie 